Okay, so I'm getting ready to put on the first rear brake caliper. This is a, a E60 M5 brakes on a E66 760Li. So my old caliper's right there. I just figured out that the, uh, even though the part numbers don't cross-reference, the actual rear brake pads fit perfectly. So I'm going to use those because these ones are in really good shape. Now, um, what's going on is um, this is the original dust cover, okay, for the 760's brake rotor. Even though this E60 M5 rotor is an inch bigger, okay, it um, fits. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. The uh, other thing that you should know is that the uh, center bore here, I mean I've got the spacers on there now, but the center bore on the actual brake rotor itself from an E60 is smaller. It's about 77 millimeters instead of 80 millimeters. Now on the front, it's the right size. Um, but the rears, in order to fit a 7 series, have to be, this, this hole on the brake rotor itself has to be bored back out to like 80 millimeter, okay? So you just got to measure what the previous brake rotor was and bore that, 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 that center bore out so that it'll fit onto the hub. Okay, take a look at this. See this mounting surface right here? Right there. Okay, that needs to be shimmed forward and I'll show you that in a little bit. So here's the place where you have to shim the actual brake caliper mount a little bit in order to make sure it fits. On this side, right up through there, it'll touch if you don't shim it like this. See that silver washer in there? I got those from McMaster Car. Those are actually very exacting sizes. Those are about 0.089 inches thick. And now what happens is you don't get any rubbing on this side or this side. Um, that's the only thing you have to do in order to sort of make them compatible. So again, we're doing a front caliper here and you can see that uh, silver, what looks like a washer. Basically it is a very precision washer. It's standing out the caliper just enough to keep it from scraping. Once it's mounted, it gets pretty tight and uh, it's perfectly safe. As long as the two washers are the same thickness as each other and they are the same thickness all the way around. So that's why you gotta buy precision ones from McMaster Car.